35, the graph of the equation representing direct variation. Now, what does that mean? It basically means you have an equation. It's going to be y equals, you have some value here. We call it the k value times x. Basically, x is being multiplied by a constant value each time, whether that's a 2 or a 3 or a 4 or 5. I don't know. But it's going to be something like that. And I know it goes through this point three four. Okay, you know, it could be some fraction there. I don't know. Locate one additional point that's on the graph of this equation. Now, the one thing I do know is it will always go through zero, zero. So one of the points you can hit is zero, zero. You could put a few more points. Let's put a few more because now that we know that it goes through always zero, zero in this point here, we can see that the pattern, if we connect the line, if we do it correctly, which would be hard, we notice that the slope is up four over three rise four, run three. So I could rise four, run three. I know there's another point right there at what? Six, eight, six, eight would be another spot. I could also go down, go, whoop, excuse me, move. My pen is messing up. We could also over three down four. We could do that. So there's another point and then over three down four. There's another point. And you can see these are all perfect staircases. And again, I just was drawing the stairs. You could have gone down four over. Wouldn't make any difference. But those are all possible points. The key here is to remember, if it's direct variation, this guy's going to be going through the origin, which will always be a point, zero, zero, when it's a direct variation.